Hi, it's Faceless Tech. Um, kind of a project that's kind of born out of necessity. Um, you know, as of, as of late, the news has been pretty grim. Um, this guy keeps coming into the works canteen, putting the news on quite loud. You know, too loud that you can't really ignore it. Um, so I thought I'd do the British thing and um, instead of uh, t tackling the issue straight on, I thought I'd make a TV be gone so I can uh, kind of turn it off without even having to tackle the issue. So um, I built a pair, built the last last time I built a TV be gone, it was into a pair of sunglasses. Um, and I thought I could just use the same board, same 80 tiny, 85, this, that, and other. Went to go on the blog, kind of looked at the code. Couldn't really find the code. I, didn't, I hadn't really actually documented it good enough to recreate myself. So God knows any of it, if anyone else recreated it. Um, so I kind of started from scratch. Um, used a um, Arduino Pro Mini board this time um, instead of an 80 tiny, 85. Um, kind of kept it basic. Kind of wanted to keep it small because kind of wanted to go on a keychain. Um, and also, um, so it's kind of inconspicuous, so you could easily use it um, and a device and it wouldn't be you know a massive thing so this is what I come up with um, if I take it apart show you the internals of it it's probably the best way it's just a point-to-point -point wiring job no um, PCB required because there's not many connections and it kind of saves space as well not using a PCB so we've got the lid here which is quite nice it's got um, the buttons I used which are just cutouts and then use the flexible Flex of the PLA with some like standoffs so that they press the buttons. That's just one solid piece. Then, looking here, this um, we've got the reset button on the Arduino, and then I thought, how can I have another button? So I thought I'll glue on, literally just super glued it on top of the chip there, run some uh, enamel wire down to the uh, to the points there, and then you've got two buttons then basically, and one one after each other. Um, and then underneath that is a basically a power bank board, uh, similar to something you'd find in one of these cheap power banks to strip that out there's a little battery here that's out of a pair of bluetooth uh, headphones you know the ones that have the wire and then they have like a little control box well i tossed all the battery out of that you got a latching switch here which uh, turns it on and off it's kind of like putting away that um that in your pocket it wouldn't actually activate but you just have to use a slight bit of a nail and it gets to activate the put the best the thing like i say i had the um sunglasses built into sunglasses uh, version and I tried them hit and work and they wouldn't have the re range because I think it was about 12 to 15 meters away at the telly so I found these um, LEDs which are like high powered ones but this has got like a 60 degree angle so it's more um, kind of uh, concentrated I couldn't really just, I haven't had, had the range in at home to try it um, so I kind of like didn't know if it was going to work or not I could turn the telly off my telly off from another room so I thought it's got to be quite powerful enough to bounce off a few walls and that kind of stuff so I thought you know it's going to work but uh, I took it built it took it into work um, and then I sat down the telly was on news was blazing and I thought right this is a good time to try, try it out turned it on uh, goes through the commands it takes about 45 seconds to go through all the different on and off commands so I was sitting there and I was kind of thought you know is it going to go is it going to go off and then suddenly no telly and I was like wow it worked and then I thought oh shit is people going to actually um, you know have a negative reaction to this but uh, everyone just carried on I don't think anyone really cared uh, and everyone just carried on and then and that was it really um, but yeah it's quite a nice little device it's just a point to point wiring it's just a resistor um, transistor to boost the uh, signal voltage to the LED and that's it really so I'm, I'm not sure what kind of range it was I was hoping to be able to like walk past people's houses and turn the telly off through the window but for some reason I don't think it penetrates glass I'm not sure if it's to do with the wavelength it's like um, of the IR LED um, but yeah I'll just kind of show you when it, you turn it on um, as well as well on this I did like a dual you know um, a, a change filament to change filament at a height it's from a white to a black and this kind of has the uh, like a light pipe as you can see Otherwise, it would just kind of light light up, so it just lights up in two areas. You've got the uh, reset button, and then you've got the the uh, script button. So you press the script button, and then you can see this LED flashing, and then you can see at home there it's quite it is quite bright. And then it just goes through. And then when it gets to the end, you can just press reset and then press the thingy again if you haven't actually uh, done it. But yeah, I think it was quite a nice little fun project to do. Kind of made out of um, bits I had on hand. 
quite fun to do the uh, project the case as well um to get everything fitted like this this screw i managed to hide kind of in this area but this other one it was kind of jutted up here so i kind of made a feature of it just to make it look a bit more interesting it looked like a kind of like a car fob uh, probably if i was going to do it again i probably wouldn't use white on the top because it's quite um you know it looks a bit you know it looks quite bright doesn't it and as well on the bottom there's an led for the charging and it won't shine through on the black pla which is a bit of a fail i'd probably just have a hole in it and then you could just put a bit of white filament through just to fill that in or fill it in with hot glue or something just to see so when it's charging you can't really tell it's charging or when it's charged but as usual there'll be uh files um in the link in the description for this if you want to uh, kind of build it it's from um ken sheriff's uh, original um uh, tv be gone sort of schematic so i'll have a link to that as well uh, and all the code it's quite easy to do so yeah thanks for watching bye